Hey guys, my name is Charlie Atkins and today I'm going to be taking you through a 25 minute arms and abs workout using just resistance bands. I have a red one that is a medium and a yellow one that is a light band. Let's go ahead and get started with our warm up. We're gonna come down just to a half kneeling position. All I want you to do is glue your elbows into your ribs and we're just gonna start with wrist circles. Now when we're doing any form of arms or abs exercise, you can almost guarantee that there's going to be a plank or two. So if you ever feel that you have issues with the wrist, this is a good way to start your workout just with a quick wrist circle. You can also flex and extend your wrist just by lifting up the palms, lowering them down. Put them in fist, that way you can kind of get as much resistance as possible before we fully start this workout. Now with our wrist circles, again, pull the shoulders down away from the ears, rolling a few circles here, and then we're gonna turn it into a shoulder circle. So hands down by the hips, start to roll the shoulders back. Now you may be wondering why I'm in a half kneeling position as opposed to standing. That's because when we come down to a half kneeling position, it's a little bit easier to focus on core work because we eliminate the ankle and the knee joints. Therefore, we're able to focus on the core. So rolling the shoulders back, just go ahead and reverse the direction of your shoulders, warming them up. Now we're just rolling forward. Now, majority of these workouts will be done on the mat since this is arms and abs. Let's go ahead and come down into a quadruped position. You're just gonna come with toes tucked under, cat cow. All we're doing is flexing and extending the spine. So inhaling up, pulling armpits down. Exhale, tucking the chin to the chest, pushing into the mat, trying to get the back as high to the sky as you can. And then just slowly going through those own reps at your own tempo, but inhaling open, exhale, close. So when you are in the cow position, open up the chest. When you move towards the cat, push into the mat, trying to push your spine as high to the sky as you can get it. From here, we're just gonna come into a downward facing dog. So bend the knees, lift the tailbone to the sky, pressing tailbone to the sky. All I want you to do from there is just lift one heel up and then the other. This is a good way to open up the chest, to fire up the arms, but to also open up the legs. So we're just doing a down dog plus a leg lift. The leg lift just feels nice. <laughs> Try pulling the chest towards the kneecaps. That'll help you get a little bit deeper into your downward facing dog. If you have to have a bend in the knees, totally okay. But from here, we're gonna come back down to our quadruped position and we're gonna do a lateral bird dog. So in a lateral bird dog, reach forward and backward with opposite hand, opposite arm, and then take it on an angle, bring everything back to center. Reach forward and backwards, open it up to an angle, bring everything back to center. The goal is to keep the back nice and flat, and you're just gonna keep alternating sides. So you don't need to do these super quick. As you're pressing through the heel, make sure you're not pointing the toe, that you're driving through the heel, and we're just alternating sides. Let's do one more on this side, and then we're gonna move into our actual exercises. So I am going to grab my red or my medium band. I'm gonna slide it just around my forearms, just below the elbow. So I'm not on the wrist, I'm just below the elbow. I'm gonna stay here in this double kneeling position. And then all I wanna do is karate chop my hands, pull my arms away from each other, engage my core, and then we're just gonna push up and pull down. So a lot of times when I see people doing this exercise, they break the wrist like this, keep everything one straight line from the fingertip all the way down to the elbow. Now I call these wall slides because whenever I train these in the gym, what I'm trying to get my clients to do is push their elbows into a wall and slide the elbows up and down the wall. So you can picture that too, using your band as your resistance. Now, if you notice that your resistance band, it has too much resistance, that's whenever I suggest going down, it's almost better to have a lighter resistance to test out with at first. Uh, before kind of diving into the heavy ones. But from here, let's go ahead and put the band. I'm gonna switch to the lighter one. We're gonna put it around the wrist and then we're gonna come into our quadruped position. So hands and knees. All I want you to do is lift up so that knees are off the mat and then you're gonna maintain tension in your resistance band as you walk laterally. So if you wanna turn this into a phenomenal core exercise, as you're moving side to side, make sure your booty doesn't come higher than your head. So you're keeping the hips and the shoulders in line with each other. You're maintaining tension in that band as you move side to side. And we're just moving left to right. 
Now be very mindful of the placement of your hands. This is gonna work your shoulders and your core. We got about three seconds left. Good. Now, from here, I'm gonna hold on to this same band. Go ahead and loop it around your feet. And then you're gonna lay down here on your back. And I'm just gonna do my left leg. So, head rests on the mat. It's a bicycle, but it's only one side. Press your shoulder blades into the mat. Right knee is right over right hip. And then all I'm gonna do is take a deep breath in. As I exhale, extend my heel. <sighs> hover here for three, two, one. On the hover, press your lower back into the mat. Three, two, one. <sighs> Good, we'll do two more on this side. Three, two, lower back into mat. So the goal is to press the lower back into the mat. Three, <laughs> two, one, and then go ahead and bend the knees really quick, switch sides. So the goal of this isn't necessarily in the legs, it's can I keep my core engaged with my head on the mat while extending my legs. So I'll get used to that first motion first, knee is right over the hip, both toes are flexed, bringing this foot back, head rests on the mat, deep breath in on the exhale, extend, pause, lower back presses into the mat. So if you are able to hold the extended version while pressing your lower back into the mat, that's what trains the core. Extend, try to use your exhale to press the lower back into the mat. Good, Whew. nice. Now from here, let's go ahead and take it into a body weight exercise. Again, if you have sensitive wrist, here is the one trick that's gonna save you. Go ahead and double lap your mat. Come back to a push-up plank position. Make sure shoulders are right over the wrist. We're just gonna do a body weight row with an arm extension, just the right side. So I'm gonna pull my elbow to the sky. I'm gonna extend my arm to, to uh, fire up the old tricep. And I'm just gonna repeat. So this is gonna work core. It's also gonna work arms. Whenever you're doing this extension, pull the shoulder away from the ear. Give me one more. Row plus an extension. And then drop the knees for a quick second. And we'll do the exact same thing on the other, other arm. So if you wanted to and you had a lighter set of weights at your house, you could always turn this into a more challenging exercise by adding in a dumbbell, or even if you have like a can of soup. So you really wanna bend the elbow to the sky and then extend the arm. So both of them are two very valuable exercises. I know we see a lot of these tricep extensions, but what I'm actually trying to get you to do is row, which is where you're pulling your shoulder away from the ear, trying not to let the hips and the shoulders lose their squareness to the mat, while also balancing on one arm. Good, now from there, let's go ahead and move back to the beginning. So we're gonna grab onto our mat again, or sorry, our mini exercise band. <sighs> Karate chop the hands, and then all I'm doing is pushing straight up and down. <sighs> now, if you find yourself uncomfortable in a kneeling position, just go ahead and pad, the, pad your bottom knee with something like a t-shirt or a towel. You can even double lap the mat. <sighs> now, if you're like me and you just realized that this band was way too intense, then I'm gonna to switch to my other one. You still have about 20 seconds left here. Whew, much better. Like how I said, having a lighter resistance sometimes makes the exercise a little bit easier, yes, but I can feel myself actually doing correct form on this one. We've got about eight seconds left, so I'm sliding my elbows on the wall in front of me, maintaining tension in my resistance band. This exercise targets the shoulders and the back. Let's do one more. Good, now I'm gonna hold on to this resistance band. We're gonna do that lateral bear plank again. So this time the band goes just above my wrist. I'm gonna place my hands right below my shoulders, lift my knees up off the mat, maintaining tension in the band the entire time. So even when the arms are moving closer towards each other, you're still trying to maintain tension in the mat. Now, depending on what type of resistance bands you have at home, this is definitely one where you wanna go lighter. Keep the booty low, turn it into a core exercise as much as it is an arm exercise. And if you need to drop to the knees for a quick second, you can. <sighs> Otherwise, oh, moving side to side. We got three, two, nice. Now let's go ahead and come down onto the mat for those extensions. <sighs> so you hook it around the arches of the feet. We're gonna start with my left leg, cause that's camera side. <laughs> You're basically putting yourself in this dead bug position. Pull right knee and extend left leg out, press lower back into the mat, and then you're just gonna extend that leg, pull the knee right back in. So the whole focus of the exercise is to press the lower back into the mat without letting this right knee move 
and the knee doesn't want to be pulled all the way to the chest. You want it to stay right over, whoo, right over that right hip. Pull the toe towards the shin in both cases. Lower back presses into the mat. Don't let your head pop off the mat. I like to cue myself to pull my armpits down. Good. Go ahead and bend the knees really quick. We're gonna switch sides. So again, really maintaining core into the mat, setting myself up, open up my chest. <sighs> Trying to keep that extended position for a quick beat while keeping my lower back pressed into the mat. So this is kind of like one of those silent core exercises, those silent core killers. <sighs> As that leg is extended, fire up the core almost like you're doing a crunch without actually doing <sighs> the full crunch. We'll do one more. Nice. Now, we're gonna do the body weight row plus a tricep kick deck. Here's a little trick. You can wad up your band, roll the top of your mat as you set up your push-up plank position. Now that you have something to grip onto, don't let your body rotate away from the mat. Pull, extend, re-bend, repeat. Pull, extend, re-bend, repeat. Pull, extend, you got the hang of it. Now, if the plank is challenging for you, the wider your feet are, the easier it becomes, meaning the more stability you'll have. So if you aren't able to hold this push-up plank position with one arm, go ahead and take a quick recovery, then just uh, widen the feet. Whew. I'm gonna move over, so I'm using my band in my left hand now. Setting up push-up plank position, shift the weight over so that the shoulders come over the wrist, and then I'm doing a row, elbow to the sky, wrist to the rib, with an extension. <sighs> By holding on to something, in this case, the exercise band, it allows you to really feel what you're doing. <sighs> Coming down, pull. Now don't let the booty go up in the air. Part of this exercise is a total body situation where you are building your arm strength, your core strength, as well as your hip stability. From there, we'll take a quick transition. Now. We're gonna move into another round of exercises. We're gonna hold on to an elbow plank to start. So when, as we come into our elbow plank, go ahead and grab opposite elbows, put your elbows down on the mat, and then place your hands right in front of where you put the elbows. From here, we're gonna set up our plank. Now, when you're in plank, tuck the tailbone under, straighten out the body, meaning putting shoulders right in line with the hips, and then you're pushing yourself away from the mat through the elbows. Now, what I see a lot is people aren't engaging their core, so it looks like your lower back might hurt because your hip flexors are kind of sagging down. Fire up the glutes, fire up the thighs, push yourself away from the mat, and breathe out. So as I exhale, I feel my core engaging, and I'm gonna pull my elbows towards my toes for three, two, and then one. From there, go ahead and grab onto one of your bands. I'm gonna go with my medium one. Hook it around your right foot, just the right foot. I'm gonna take my yellow one out of the way. Left hand is in a fist, sit up tall, pull elbow straight behind you. Elbow goes straight behind me. So we're doing a row. This is how you work your back muscles. You're gonna keep the core engaged. This is how you train your posture. If you have tight hamstrings and you have to have a slight bend in the knee, that's okay, but make sure that that elbow pulls right past the ribs. So every time I'm pulling, I wanna pull my shoulder blade off my back. Nice strong core. We've got about eight seconds left here and then we're gonna move on to our next exercise. Keep this in mind, my right arm is rowing. <sighs> One more. Now I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of my band. I'm gonna hold onto it on my right arm. I'm gonna lay down on my mat, right knee is bent, left arm is out to the side, left leg is straight. All I'm gonna do is punch the sky while I have this band in my hand. I'm gonna roll up to my elbow, push up to my hand, lower down and repeat. So my right hand with the band in it is punching to the sky the whole time. This is called a half get up. So half of your body is rolling up to get out of bed. So it's the get out of bed exercise. If you've worked out with me before, you know that this is one of my favorite ones. And it's so good that I usually put it into most of my clients' um, workouts as well as my own. Let's do one more on this side. Good and then go ahead and set up for your single arm row. So anytime you do a row exercise, it is a back exercise. Straight line from the head to the tailbone. If you need to have a micro band in the knees, you can. Make sure that the elbow pulls right past the ribs, that the shoulder pulls away from the ear, and that as you pull, you wanna think about pulling your shoulder blade off your back. Now I like to have my opposite hand in a fist because it helps me engage my core. Every time you pull, Exhale, 
So just rowing away. We got about 10 seconds left here. The goal is to not let your torso move. Again, if the hamstrings are tight, you can have a micro bend in the knee. Just pulling elbow straight behind me, wrist to my rib. From there, we're gonna move into that half get up on the other side. So this time, right, left knee is bent, right arm is out to the side. I got my band in my hand. I'm gonna push all the way up to my hand, come back to my elbow and lower right back down. Now the hardest part of this exercise, yes, is rolling up and coming up, but it's also challenging yourself to come down slowly. Let your head kiss the mat as you get down, that way you don't overstress the neck. Whew. Rolling up, pushing that resistance band all the way to the sky. Coming up, good. Lifting, and give me one more. From there, let's go ahead and come into an elbow plank hold. So I'm just gonna come into an elbow plank hold. I can bring my feet together if I want it to be a little bit more challenging. And then all I'm gonna do from here is replace my elbow with my hand, walk me up to standing. Now, if having my feet together is too challenging, same thing, I'm just gonna walk my feet apart. But all I'm doing is a plank walk, trying to push myself up into push-up plank position, lower myself down into regular position or regular elbow plank. Try switching your lead arm if you haven't already done it. Keep the core engaged, make sure that the hips stay in line with the shoulders and don't let the body rotate too much. One more, nice, drop to the knees really quick. Take a quick child's pose. Now we're gonna come into a push-up release. I know that push-ups are really challenging and I actually don't encourage you to do push-ups from your knees. So what I'm gonna do is show you one of the drills I like to do with my clients to help them learn push-ups. So I'm gonna start with my hands right underneath my shoulders, hands are mat width apart. I'm gonna drop all the way down to the mat, lift hard up, push up, come right back down. Lift, push up. So what this does is it trains me to push myself away from the mat, right? We've got about 10 seconds left to go. Lowering down, hard up, core stays tight. Push up, trying to keep one straight line from your head to your heels and then flip on over. Let's do our rows again, just for a change of scenery. I'm gonna switch sides. All right, so putting it just around my right foot, sitting up nice and tall, left hand is in a fist. I wanna row. Now, instead of trying to bang out a ton of reps, pause in the back. When you're pausing, pull the shoulder blade off the back, pull the shoulder away from the ear, engage the core. Another way to think of it is use your full exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. You get the hang of it. You can do it on your own breath. We'll do two more reps. And then we're gonna head into that get up. So I'm gonna put the resistance band in my right hand. The hand that's up is the knee that's up. Left hand is out to the side, rolling over onto my left elbow, pushing myself all the way up. So as I lower down, I wanna think about pulling my belly button to my spine or engaging my transverse abdominis. That is the deep, deep core. So I know a lot of times you hear your trainers tell you belly button to spine. That's because you're trying to flatten out the core, working that deep core muscle. Oh, transverse abdominis. Lifting up, lowering down. Ooh. Going down slowly, <sighs> pushing yourself up. The entire time, the hand that has a resistance band is punching the sky. From there, let's go ahead and switch sides. Whoop. There's a quick little 180. Hooking this around my left foot. Sit up nice and tall, right hand is in a fist. Engage my core. I'm gonna pause in the back. <sighs> Slowly release. <sighs> Elbow grazes past my ribs each time. When I pull, I try breathing out, keeping my core engaged, stacking shoulders right over hips. If my hamstrings are tight and I need a bend in the knees, totally okay. Otherwise, we've got about 12 seconds left to go. Oh, my mat doesn't want to participate. It's all right. Give me one more and then we'll do our get up. So this time, left hand has the resistance band, left knee is bent, right arm is out, 
rolling up onto right elbow and lowering right back down. Now, if you ever wanted to advance these exercises, instead of having the resistance band in your hand, you could add a dumbbell, allowing it to be a little bit more challenging. I always find that my body shifts itself in these exercises as I'm lowering down and lifting up. Coming down, a few more reps. We'll go for another five seconds, try to get two more. Here's my one, and here's my two, good. From there, we're gonna come on down to the mat. We're gonna do those push-up releases again. If you can do full push-ups, um, not from your knees, go ahead and do full push-ups. Otherwise, come down to the mat, start in the bottom position, thumbs are in the armpits, elbows are pointed back, push yourself up, lower yourself down, push up and lower. Now I know it's easier said than done, but I promise you if you do these push-up drills, these push-up releases in this case, it's gonna train you how to do a proper push-up down the line. Stick with me for about 10 more seconds. Keep the core engaged, keep the glutes engaged, keep the thighs active, push yourself away from the mat, lower yourself down. Now instead of looking down at your toes, look in front of the mat, one more. All right. Now, we're gonna go into a quick fire round. Three more exercises, 30 seconds each, and then we will be done. I'm gonna use my lighter band of the two. I'm gonna be in a double kneeling position. Now, when I, we say put it around the wrist, actually have it a few inches above the wrist. Put your hands in fists, palms are facing each other, and then all I want you to do is lift up to where fists are in line with the shoulders while pulling the resistance band away the entire time. So, keeping my core engaged, stacking my shoulders over my hips, I'm just lifting straight arms up and pulling them right back down, maintaining tension in the resistance band the entire time. Lifting up and lowering down. Good. Now from here, go ahead and put it a little bit higher on the forearm, so a little bit closer to the elbow crease. Shake it out. And then all I want you to do is try to pull the elbows behind you, so don't look at what the band is doing. Watch where my elbows are going. So I'm pulling my elbows away from each other, almost in an A position, and I'm reaching right back up. So the goal is to pull the shoulder blades together behind me, reaching up. If you notice that your mobility won't let you reach arms up at this 45 degree angle, you can come down to with a bent elbow to that starting position. Oh, it's starting to burn the shoulders. Almost there, three, two, nice. Now get rid of the band. I'm gonna hold them in my hands. You don't have to hold the bands in your hands, but holding onto something helps with the grip. Now all I want you to do is pull the shoulder blades together behind you, and then I just want you to very actively do a lateral raise, but it's an air lateral raise. So my core is engaged, my glutes are engaged, my thighs are engaged, and all I'm doing is gripping hard onto these bands, trying to burn out my shoulders by lifting my arms out to the side. If my core is not engaged, then I'm gonna be having a very floppy body. You don't wanna flop. You wanna keep nice and strong and stable. You got five more seconds. <sighs> only going to lateral, meaning fist only come to shoulders. Three, two, one. Whew. All right, let's do that. One more time, three exercises, last three, and then we will be done. Putting this just above the wrist, not on the wrist, just above the wrist. Fist, fists are facing each other. Lock the armpits down. We like to call that packing. It's already burning. Lifting up, lowering down. Core is tight. Again, if your knees are uncomfortable in these half kneeling positions, you can roll a towel underneath the knees. You can roll the resistance band. I do like to have us in a kneeling position as opposed to whew, standing because it helps keep the core engaged. Now from here, similar exercise, just a different pulling pattern. I'm gonna turn sideways so you can see. So all I'm gonna do now is I wanna pull the elbows behind me while pulling the band apart. So it's kind of pressing on the front of me I'm just pulling elbows behind me, pulling shoulder blades together behind. <sighs> Shoulders are for sure getting a burnout. Few more seconds here, and then we're gonna end on those lateral raises with no bands. <sighs> Keep the core engaged. If you're still in a kneeling position with me, <sighs> see if you can fire up the glutes. You got five, four, three, two, one, nice. Go ahead and Hold on to your resistance bands in your fist. I'm gonna switch sides just because one's a little bit thicker than the other. 
And here we go, last 30 seconds. Remember, arms only go to shoulder height. Keep a micro bend in the elbows. It's okay if the band or the resistance band wants to fly away. Pull the armpits down, keep the core engaged. It is working here. A few more seconds, let's do 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. All right, nice job. Thank you guys for working out with me. Make sure you do a few stretches after this to kind of warm up. I think the wind is blowing me out of here, so I'm gonna head out. Thank you guys so much for working out with me, and I'll see you next time on the mat.